Princess Crafty Queen, and today I'm going to be telling you some helpful duct tape trip, trip, tips and tricks, and I'm going to be showing you some stuff that I just got um, from a, for a welcome home gift if you don't know I was on a trip. So if you want to see some helpful duct tape tips and tricks and my welcome home gifts, just keep watching for this welcome home gift. As you see, we've already ate in some pieces. It was a cooking cake that said welcome home because I've been gone for a little while. And it this was my welcome home gift and it had flowers around it and of course the welcome home. So my second gift was some duct tape. So I got this duct tape. Um, it says stick together. Now um, it says, sorry for the glare. We'll donate 10 cents from this purchase with a maximum donation of $20,000 to Pacers National Bullying Prevention Center. So, so I got that. Of course, it's duck brand. I got, of course, I use this, you don't know how much, um, duct tape, um, electric glue. Um, so I got this. I, I use that a lot for a lot of my projects. Um, then I got this duct tape, um, palm, um, I guess you would call it rainbow palm tree. Um, let's see, and so yeah, I got this one, and of course, brand duct tape. And then, last but not least, I got the paw prints um, with the navy blue black back background and duck brand as well. Duck brand, duck brand. So those are my welcome home gifts. Time for the tips and tricks. So, my first helpful duct tape tip or trick is, so this is what I like to do. So, there are women, women wallets that you can make that are larger than a bifold. So, they're women's wallets and they're big and they have your billfold pocket, your coin pocket, and your um, credit card pocket and some extra hidden pockets or clutches inside the wallet. Um, it's pretty big, um, but sometimes what I like to do to give it, it may take up a little bit more space, but it's a cool little idea. So instead of doing the women's wallet, if you're not that advanced, I can make one, but if you're not that advanced, make a bifold wallet that would be just for money, no credit card pockets, just for um, dollar bills, that's it, just for dollar bills. And you would just make one for dollar bills. And it'd be your billfold. And then you'd make one for just coins, so have like a little coin clutch. And it'd be for just coins. Because I know my mom, she has a one's wallet right now that I made her, and she doesn't really use the coin pouch. And they seem, it's a Ziploc, but she never, never seems to use it. So she would just have a designated spot in the woman's wallet. But why not have its own little designated spot all by itself so she doesn't put it in other places and get them mixed up. So, like, you would have your billfold, your little coin clutch, and for your credit sorry for your credit cards you would have like um i call them credit card sliders um you would have um, a fabric of duct tape and it'd be like it would of course have a flap so none of the credit cards fall out and uh you would have your credit cards there so it'd just be like uh, let's say this is the fabric okay so this is the fabric and you would have so let's say these are the credit card pockets Okay, so you, this would be a credit card pocket, 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 and it'd have its own little flap too. So it'd be like, this is the flap, so it'd be like, okay, you're not using it, so close. Open, I need to get a credit card closed. So it would have its own little designated spot. So instead of having like, because sometimes my mom puts dollar bills in her credit card pockets or credit cards in her billfold, coins in the billfold, coins in the credit card pockets. So, you know, why not have its own little designated spot and you don't have to, like, let's say you just need your credit card. You would just be like, oh, I'm just going to use my credit card. So, or your debit card. So you would just grab it and, you know, put it back. So you might, you might 
not overthink and be like, well, I want to use this credit card and some cash, and but then I want to give her coins, so don't overthink it. So that was my first tip. This is my second duct tape tip or trick. So you know how you have your duct tape and it's all sealed and you sometimes can't find it? Well, you're feeling around and you finally find it, and then you have to kind of peel and then it gets all messy, and then sometimes it even rips. And no one likes it when it rips. So, why not do this? Hold up. Have your duct tape. Get a piece of it. So, just have like maybe about that much. It's still on the roll and keep it on the roll. Take that piece and fold it over evenly. And then if you have just a little bit of sticky, just kind of stick it down. So then if you're feeling, it'll ruffle up. And if you want, and then whenever you have it, it won't rip. It'll just come right off. This is what I do to basically sometimes all my duct tape sometimes. So that is my second duct tape tip. This is my third duct tape tip. Now I do this pretty often. So what I do is I, it depends how tall I want my, okay, well first I'll make the rolls that, um, just some rolls if they don't, if you haven't opened yet, it can be open too. I would sometimes maybe stack one and put it there and the camera will be facing down if I need to show you something on a surface, but what if it's not high enough? Stack it. Not high enough, stack it again, and again, and do that. Now, it has to be obviously not opened yet, so it'll have, like, you know, a thing. Or you could just put, like, a piece of cardboard, cardboard under each one. So, like, this one, it's already opened, because, see, it'll fall right through. So... Use your duct tape rolls as stands. If you enjoyed these tips and tricks on duct tape, don't forget to like this video and comment on it too. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!